that although we're in the middle of shipping and having a great success along with CS3, in fact, we are hard at work and actually doing coding work today on CS4. And what I want to do now, as I always like to do, is just give you a little tease for some of the things that you're going to see in CS4. So with that, I thought I'd do an image. And so the first thing I did was uh, talk about, um, showcase this real quick, which is I want to highlight some of the things that we've done. We always show you some future WYSI technology. Some of the things you're going to see in CS4, and this is going to be some really fascinating new stuff, is we're actually refining a lot of the tools that you use every day. So I want to show you a couple of those things now. One, for example, is uh, Dodge and Burn. So what I'm going to do is come in here, and uh, I'll use the current CS3 version, and let's tone this down here to, say, something really light. Uh, and if I come in and try to highlight the shadows here in her hair, you'll notice what happens is that it will lighten it, but it actually almost bleaches her hair out. So as I'm doing this, I'm actually bleaching this whole area out. It kind of washes it out. Now, with CS4, um, we're going to enhance this capability. I'll just juice this up here to make my point. I'm going to come in this area, and I'm going to start highlighting it. And at first, you won't even notice it because it's fairly subtle. I'm going to come through and lighten her hair, especially the shadow area. And you'll notice that it, it is actually lightening, and I'll show you in a second the difference between the two as I go through this. It is actually lightening it, but not in a non like voice. If I go back and take a look at this prior to, you'll notice the difference between the two, but yet I haven't done that washout effect, so I can't. New algorithms being applied to some of the engine technologies, like Dodge that are going to make it a much, much better experience. Now, the second thing I want to highlight is um, we all know how difficult it is to do masking. So what I'm going to do is pick an image. <clears throat> and I thought, okay, we're going to cap, because I want to show how hard it is to mask things like fur or hair. You have that uh, very fine green uh, edging, and you want to figure out what to do in that space. Well, I got a cat, and I thought, well, that would be interesting, but eh, not good. I'm more of a dog person. So I thought, here's a better picture. Here's a picture of a dog. And I thought, well, you know, here we are at you know, the, uh, the Star Trek thematic. I thought we need some kind of mutant dog to be able to work on that. So, Pull together something like this. It's kind of a cross between a, a terrier. And, it's kind of a Scott Terrier. We'll call it a Scott Terrier. That's what I'm kind of related to a triple somehow. But then I thought, you know, after I looked at this for a while and I started working on it, I realized that it's really scary. So I decided that we better just go with a, a simple dog. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, selection tool. I'm going to come through real quick because this is very rapid. I'm going to go through and highlight the dog. And you can see the furry edge in the corner of the uh, carbon floor behind it. We'll try to get this close here. So someone needs to go back and put this up there. Okay, so you get the idea. You highlight the dog. A little bit right here on the side. Now we'll go through and we're going to go to find edge. Now, using CS3, Right now, this is what would happen is, you know, we go down to, let me this down here to see the mask. Um, if I take the radius up to, say, uh, 30 or so, you see it actually puts in a lot of distortion, and it's trying to figure out the head, edge of the hair versus the background, and it gets pretty fragmented. Now what we're going to do is show you the technology for CS4, currently called True Edge, and we have a better name for it by the time we get to CS4. But if you look at True Edge, this will take about five or six seconds, and you'll see what uh, a much improved job we've done in the algorithms to actually look at that, that edge. To the pair of edges. So now you can see that actually that, that hairline edge now is much more defined and be much clearer and a much better job of masking. So again, just a couple uh, quick technologies there. I'm going to go back to... I just want to look at it one more time before I go. This is all I got. This guy had a big blow up and embarrass me, and all I got is a dog face for him. I apologize for that. Another form, I went down. Okay. So.